I'm doing this, I guess, little documentary as a way of trying to show what the daily life is of someone with bipolar disorder, how your life becomes affected, how you affect the lives of others, and what you do to struggle to maintain your focus and your energy into something positive. I myself am a firm believer in Jesus Christ. I was a terrible alcoholic and terrible drug addict. And everything changed for me about four years ago. It's still been the hardest times of my life, but I can be happy knowing that God is there to help me on the path even though I constantly struggle. I struggle with my outbursts, I struggle with my medication, I struggle with life in general. And that's not a cop-out, that's not trying to be someone who's given up. I've just tried looking at things in a different light because of mental illness. And I want people to be aware and understanding of those with such an illness. I hope this helps people. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. I try to do the best I can and hope for the best. I often ponder on why I seem to isolate myself and just not be a good friend to people. It's just the way I've been throughout my life. Being antisocial is not a terrible thing. I lived a lifetime doing drugs, drinking alcohol. It got me nothing except a ruined life. It was a very, very vile existence. I wasn't challenging myself. I wasn't using my brain. All I thought about was me and how am I going to get the next substance to fill my brain. Ironic because some would say that tobacco is the. But for me, it's not the tobacco that's the addiction, it's the hobby, the craftsmanship of a fine pipe like this. See how well it smokes with this wonderful aromatic blend. Very simple things can 
just calm my mind. And I'm at peace. I listen to nothing, but I hear everything. Outside, walking one of the dogs. Come on, Ella. See this right here? The Mexican standoff. She really wants her food. But we ain't got none up there. Hey, everyone. OC Punk 714. Back with one of my bipolar pipe smoker segments actually reminds me I gotta go take my medication before I go see my psychiatrist today she's a lovely lady it's totally awesome love going to see her just sucks that really all I really walk away with from it is five pills that I've had to choke down for the last four years I mean, I guess that's kind of my choice, you know, otherwise, you know, deal with the other side of me constantly, which is completely annoying and very hurtful to some people and myself, especially on the inside. I know that God does not want me to act in a manner that isn't according to his will. So, I want to focus on some of the things in the pipe culture world that have kept me focused and just give me a sense of creativeness and stability. And these things are just awesome. It's kind of like with my music, how I got into it and I collected tons and tons of records and beat machines and things to keep my mind jogging, to challenge me. So, I'm gonna start out. I got a briar block I'm working on. Let me take the stem out. As you can see, I'm trying to get all that crud off the top. And another project I'm working on I got outside off the tree. I call it my battle warthog because it kind of reminds me of a pig snout. It did look like a rhino, but I decided to go with the pig. Uh, yeah, so I'm using a bunch of stuff like whittling tools. Be very careful if you're going to take this type of hobby up because I've nicked myself a couple good times. Thankfully, it hasn't been too bad <laughs> yet. Um, starting to collect vintage cans. Found a McBaron and this Edgeworth, which is actually still pretty nice and decent condition. Um, I'm gonna do some art, kind of like deco something, I don't know, with these tin labels, or possibly tins, you know, possibly stack them and glue them together, I don't know. That's just the kind of weird stuff that you do because you need to focus your mind. It's... A terrible thing when you get lost in your head and you can't drag yourself out of a funk. Hey everyone. Sorry we got a cut off at the last video. I wanted to touch upon the subject of medication and I thought this would probably be a good idea to bring it up since I have had to start a new medication. I 
It's for anti-anxiety. I've been having small panic attacks and that doesn't just happen in public, it happens on my own. And it's not fun when you're by yourself and you just feel anxious about everything. But I have hope and faith that things will change. I know God has a plan for my life. Well, now that I've bored you with my whole spiel, Just drinking my coffee. Have this pipe nook mug. I broke after five days. I couldn't take it. So much stress, at least inside my head. It's the crappy thing about bipolar. You just have so much going on through your head and then you uh, add caffeine to it. I'm sure the nicotine doesn't help. This is my relaxing time. This is peace. You hear nothing. Wind chimes, birds. This is all I want. Peace inside my mind. Let's see. What am I going to get out of here right now? What's going on, YouTube pipe smoking community? Thought I'd uh, drop a little bit more info on what it's like taking medication. I don't really think my antidepressants are working anymore and my doctor seems to agree with that. I've uh, developed some sort of tolerance to it. And I've gained a lot more anxiety. I put on 20 pounds since November. And things have been a lot different. My sleep patterns are quite regular. My thought process is constantly stimulated, thinking about the future, what I want to do. And I worry about whether I will succeed or not. Very paranoid thinking. I don't like it at all, but that's what I live with inside my head. 
it keeps turning and I do the best that I can to just relax. That's why I'm happy I took up pipe smoking and blending for personal and for the Royal Buck Smoking Club. I am thankful for all my brothers on this pipelife.com in the pipeline forum. I've gained excellent friends and that is something I've been looking for as of late because loyalty is everything and if you don't have that you got nothing that's my opinion take it for what it's worth but now it's gotten to a point where I have to just make decisions for my own life. At least in a way of keeping myself sane, basically. I have added Klonopin to my list of medications. And I don't feel as much anxiety. Things are a little slow. But I think I can handle that. No big deal. Well, I'm gonna light this up. That means it's time to bounce. Hey everyone. Sorry I'm a little dingy today. At least my hair. Uh, just woke up. Haven't been feeling good since about Wednesday? Yeah, about Wednesday. I've been on a new prescription called Klonopin. And that really hasn't really weighed any effect on me as far as not being able to help with anxiety. It's actually doing pretty well. But I don't know. Something just hasn't felt right for the last four days. I don't know if maybe my medication needs to get adjusted to it. Or if maybe I'm just sick somehow. I don't know. I just don't feel right. Um, I actually have another form of anxiety medication if you'll allow me to show you. Ugh. This is my other anti-anxiety medication. Her name is Lila. She's four years old, and she probably does not like me right now. <laughs> because she wants to be on the bed. Alright, now you've made your cameo. Now she's just looking at me like I'm the star. Anyway, I'm feeling better today, so I'm about to get a cup of coffee. I have my Dagner Custom Bent Pot with some Seattle Pipe Club Seattle Evening. Perfect for a gloomy day. So you guys take care. Hey, er <clears throat> hey everyone. Just thought I'd check back in from the last video. 
I want to expand a little bit more on medication, especially since I've had quite a few already. Generally, I start out my day with an antidepressant. And I just got a new one called Klonopin. That one's not helping me really. I feel groggy and sleepy. I'm awake though. I feel functional. It's just a weird feeling and I stutter a lot and I have no balance. Then I take about three bipolar medications. Yeah, so as you could see, I'm probably shaking the camera a little bit. It's just cause I didn't feel like setting up a tripod. Anyway, I hope this video helps you see what it's like. So as you can see, it's not a pretty sight. No one would ever want to live this type of life. And I, that's not even that bad. I feel so horrible for people who have schizophrenia and other problems to where you just aren't yourself. And I thank God for every one of us who has this illness, a uh, crisis of mental health because we are strong inside. It's just hard to get over that hump in the mind. And not everybody can. Sometimes it's just not possible. You know, no matter how many meds you take, no matter what you do, Sometimes that's just the way it is and that's just life. You try to make the best of it. You try to see things differently and try to just keep loving yourself and loving other people as much as you can for as long as you can. Because all you really have in this world is whatever little love surrounds you. I hope this kind of helped. I know it was all over the place, but that's kind of indicative of my nature as someone with bipolar disorder. I'm up, I'm down, I'm all around. Nothing left to say.